Hello there and welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. I am so pleased to have back in studio with us Nikki Letcher with the Paint Mixer and we also have Eric here with Utah Nature Center and Earth Wings. Welcome. Nice to have yeah. you guys all. How are you this morning? You're doing great. Good. Thank Good. you. Thanks for having us back on Absolutely. this morning. Absolutely. And this is a Eurasian eagle owl that you've brought here this morning. What is his name? His name is Bubo. We get that. It's Latin for owl. And yeah, he's a, a lot of people see him, confuse him for a great horned owl, but he's a Eurasian eagle owl, the old world cousin of the great horned owl, and he's called the eagle owl because of his large size. They're one of the largest species of owls. You can see he's got about a he's five foot so wingspan. Beautiful. And I feel like I'm getting my hair hijacked, <laughs> which I didn't have time to do shoot. this morning. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty go. amazing. When you have uh, partnered with Utah Nature Center for a really cool reason, you guys do lots of wonderful fundraising efforts. And this one is happening this weekend, right? Absolutely, and this is the second one that we've done together. We did one last week in um, Sugar House and this week in Park City on Friday night at the studio, we are going to be having the opportunity to paint Bubo. And what Demetria, one of our lead artists, has done, she has recreated. This is his portrait, and everyone has the chance to paint his picture. And that's going to be at 6.30 in the studio, and anyone can go on in line, um, online at thepaintmixer.com to sign up for that event. This is pretty cool. Have you guys ever done like a, a, a live painting like that with a live creature that's pretty cool you know we, the only live thing we did is uh, some pet portraits where people uh -huh. brought in their pets oh, this makes sense. but we've not had any traditionally wild yeah, animals that's so special yeah. that would must be so incredible and it, you have a an artist that of course leads us kind of through the process of of doing the portrait and takes you through all the different steps and what I love about you guys because I've done it myself is that it's accessible to all skill levels it really is well last week we had uh, some young teens painting we have some mm -hmm. phenomenal photos of what they did and uh, so this is a chance for the Park City people to come on out and meet yeah. Bubo and it's great for kids as well because it mm -hmm. gives them the chance to actually see Bubo live and replicate what they see and use so the imagination cool. to wow. unleash the inner artist. Awesome. Okay, so Eric, tell us a little bit about Bubo. Is that yep. how you say that? Um, kind of his um, habits, behaviors, and how, does, is that as big as he gets? He's as large as, as large as he gets. He's, uh -huh. he's about five pounds, has that big five foot wingspan. Right. Um, uh, he's, you might be wondering if we're bothering him by, of course, it's early still in the morning, but uh, because I've raised him from a baby, we've, mm -hmm. we've trained him for our educational programs, he, uh, his, his diurnal or day active, so he's adjusted to that uh, schedule, not nocturnal like most owls in the wild. And, um, it, but it's important I feed him the same kind of things that he would get in the wild. So he eats mostly mice, sometimes rats, about uh, eight to 10 mice per day, three or four small rats. Um, so quite a diet, and, and other folks may have, not, not only at Utah Nature Foundation do we have Bubo, but you may have met our female eagle owl pumpkin and a lot of oh, other wow, birds. So naturefound.org, mm -hmm. if you'd like more information about uh, our educational programs, our goal to open a public nature center here in Utah. And I should mention too, with the Friday night event where everybody comes and gets to paint this beautiful portrait, meet Bubo up close, get your picture with your New Owl Painting and Bubo himself. Um, proceeds from the event go to our nonprofit and will help us in our goal to open that nature center That's so great. up here on the Wasatch wow. back. So you say you've been with Bubo uh, since a baby. Yeah, he's wow. about five years old now. We got him, he came from a wildlife center on the East Coast. Um, Do they know similar. why he was in captivity in the well, first place? Well, so like we said at the beginning, the Eurasian eagle owl mm -hmm. from Europe and Asia, the, so the only population of them here in North America is uh, in captivity. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So he was bred in wow. captivity. So that's what makes him so nice and calm and, and uh, used to lots of people. Right. He kind of either thinks he's called, it's called imprinting when we've raised him from mm -hmm. a baby. So he kind of thinks we're either part owl or he's part human, <laughs> but, but he's all part of our family. So oh, what an incredible creature and so neat that you can partner with the paint mixer to, to really inform 
those that are coming to the studio. It would be wonderful events. to get a few more people out right. on Friday night. There are a few more seats left, and so Bill will be happy to have everyone there painting his portrait. It's exciting, and this is not the first time you guys have done a fundraiser, right? You have one tonight, and you just did one a little while ago as well. You know, we, Chelsea, we've always made this part of our mission to give back to our community, and there's so many wonderful nonprofit organizations doing wonderful things in the community. And for instance, one of the things that we've done, we've partnered with the Utah Natural History Museum down in Sugar House, and so we do about four to six events and um, coincidentally tonight we are doing one at 6.30 at the uh, Sugar House Natural History Museum mm -hmm. and that is a wonderful picture as you can see of Winston T-Rex and once again Demetria actually custom created this to go in line with their exhibit about dinosaurs mm -hmm. so love people to come out down in Sugar House tonight. That's fantastic and then you also um, have another one you want to tell us about? Yeah, we just had the two events we did for the Boys and Girls Club mm -hmm. at uh, for Greater Salt Lake, and it was a wonderful turnout, sold out events for both. And we had launched our Paint by Numbers event, which was incredibly right. successful. How was that going? It was just so beautiful to uh -huh. see people. I mean, most people are actually like you and I. Mm -hmm. We are. We like if we can paint anything, <laughs> but the ability to paint portraits of their favorite animal, of right. their grandma, of their kids. And here's a time lapse video from the event. And this is one of uh, local Park City moms who came out and recreated the painting of her daughter. And what she did, she filled in numbers one through five using the color palette she had selected when she uploaded the photo. And she recreated the, this most that beautiful so painting great. of Olivia. Wow. So that's just a few things that we have been doing in the community with Wonderful. nonprofits. So anyone who has a worthy cause, we're mm -hmm. always happy to try and plan an event with them. Well, thanks for the work that you guys do. That is wonderful. And uh, Eric, where can we go online to find out more about what you, what you guys are doing? Naturefound.org for okay. more information about the Utah Nature Foundation. Excellent. And then the paint mixer as well mm -hmm. online is where you can register. And thepaintmixer.com to register online. And that is Friday night. Very good. Well, thank you so much, Nikki. Thank you. Bubo and Eric, it has been such a pleasure to have you guys here. Thank you, thank you for bringing Bubo here. Right. Thank you, Eric. Thank, thank you, Bubo. Creature. I know, right? That's so cool. We'll be right back after this commercial break. We have much more to share with you right here on the Mountain Morning Show.